All right, guys, if you'd like to avoid spoilers, then pause the video now and head down to the description for the timestamp of the beginning of the game. So in this one, um, bit of a strange one and felt like it was worth uploading, we have a game where I'm trying to go Hunter Heartless uh, and yet um, quite a way through the game still have zero Hunters on the board uh, at all. So um, it just seemed like a funny one and it ended up quite well for us, um, although, well, you'll see. Uh, I will leave you to enjoy, have fun and I'll see you in the next one. Come on, game, let's go. Give me a lobby. Thank you. Show me the path I must take. Don't worry about what a geomancer does. Just know that I'm great. Let me guess. You're looking for mana. That's a pretty strong start. Tusk is solid in the early game. Meepo's solid in the first few rounds. Anything but shamans and we should take it down. Somehow he had homing powers on my Meepo, which is supposed to break exactly that, but, um, wow. Did not expect that. Oh, well. Um, are we looking for VIP booster rounds here? I think we probably can move this into a win streak, especially if we find the two-star Tusk. So I quite like the VIP booster still. Yeah. Um, hmm. But it's now looking a lot more like a... Okay, so it looks like a lost streak, Hunter Heartless um, game. That is an early Terror Blade and Shadow Shaman. Right, we need to get our economy going again now. Very nice, very nice, very nice.
Mm, we should have replaced the pudge with the like, and there's no reason that that is a pudge. Silliness. That was just slow witted. see those barricades. Let's see those big, beautiful barricades. Oh. Suits you, sir. Suits you. Drop that, take the interest gold, then slap that in. Grab a bat rider for our troubles and yeah, take a look at the two star. We can try and build up a win streak, I suppose. We've got strong enough pieces on board, but a two-star Meepo early is a pisser. With a two-star bounty for the evasion as well, not good. And he hit Shadow Shaman last, which is what we don't want. Yeah, no, we got Meepoed. Good and hard. X9 here. Well, I mean, we're not putting this Drow Ranger on, and unless we rolled into, uh, you know, a, a really important pair, which seems really unlikely, then um, I think we just take the X9. Yeah, that's not nearly important enough to have me worried. Health total is being kept pleasantly high at the moment, which is good. I'd rather have the money than the round here. It looks like there's a small possibility we actually get both. Make that a large possibility, cool. Nice 
Target dummy. Oh. Good lord, yes. Right, we'll have to move this all down into a corner now. Oh. Somebody up there just likes me, and that's all there is to it. So. Probably should have the Bat Rider in there actually instead of the Wind Ranger. Just for the Alliance bonus at the moment. Nice. Shame about the lack of enthrall, but we'll get along. Come on, two stars. That's really good news. That's good news as well. Pre-level to seven. Wow, this guy already went all the way to seven. He really wants to protect his health pool and uh, try and build a win streak, doesn't he? Ooh, and he takes down the Bat Rider. That's a pisser. Doesn't seem to be enough for him, though. No. We got him. Come on, two stars. Ooh, that's not a good roll, is it? Let's, let's go again. Mask of Madness. Oh, 
Silver Edge is a okay. Necronomicon also very strong with the Bat Rider specifically. I think we'll take the Silver Edge because I don't think the Bat's going to be hanging around for too long. We'll give that over to the Doom, I think. Keep him alive. Drop this lot. Grab the Lunars. Wow, he's getting absolutely shracked. Alright. Luna. Yeah, I mean, no, <laughs> but I like the idea, no, no. Nah. Let's get Lycan in there first. So, how much? Oh, baby. Well, that was all very good news. Aside from these pairs, things are going all right. We've got some very serious attack speed on a two-star Luna because we've got Troll Benefit plus Silver Edge. We've got enough frontline cover, Doom and Lycan. And we've got the healing to just top her up against AoE stuff. From the Anessix. Okay. So we just need to keep leveling up and hope to hit some of these pairs along the way. Or do I have to do a little bit of rolling now? Let's have a look and see. So, Wind Ranger, massively contested. Pudge, pretty contested, but not stupid. Drow, not so bad. Shadow Shaman, yeah, relatively, but not so bad. Okay. So first thing we can sell off all that. Third is we can consider Death Prophet over Shadow Demon. In fact, that's happening right now. Uh, Death Prophet over Shadow Demon, sorry. And yeah, just carry on with the plan. Keep leveling. Landed the Doom on the three star, that is very handy. We could theoretically pre to pre to eight here, but I don't think we need to. We're strong enough. We're keeping our health total up. And we'll pre now. And then it'll be fine. We've still not actually got a heart. Like, we're, we're, we're doing a Hunter Heartless thing, except we've got two Heartless and no Hunters on the board at the minute. So that's kind of funny. All right. Christ alive, he's getting slapped. Second Silver Edge or roll for Mom? Second Silver Edge.
Can never have too many Shadow Shamans. We get to X9 here. Good enough for me. We should win. Oh, he's on a win streak though, and he's been obviously rolling for some three stars. Has he hit any? Bounty Hunter and Meepo. What's the Meepo item? Haven't Halbeard. That's probably not good enough. Just gonna get me pulled. Draw. We are still not hitting the two stars, which is not great. But that guy's plan was basically land Spectre into the corner and do some work, and it did not, so that's cool. Ooh, just short of dropping down the demon, that's a pain. That's very good. Very, very good. And then level up. Go and try and find Troll Warlord, Dusa, Tide Hunter, Doom 2, Mirana 2. Fuck it, I'll take Dragon Knight Viper at this stage. I think I'm going to pre-level to 9 here. Because putting a second Mirana on board is not fucking about. Keep our health high enough. It is looking like the Wind Ranger and Drow are, uh, are off the menu, but that's okay, because Wind Ranger tends to get replaced in the very, very late game anyway. The Drow will be sorely missed, but to be fair, a one-star Drow and a two-star Drow doesn't make a huge difference. She's there because she happens to have the two uh, alliances that you want. Her actual output as a piece... Really not that relevant. Alright, so we get to X9, and then we grab that Doom potential pair as well, and then we've got about eight pairs on board, so we really should expect to hit something by sheer just, you know, law of averages says we're going to hit something soon. So this is our main competitor in terms of uh, contesting everything that we want to find. So we'd very much like to deal maximum damage to this fucker. Demon Wars! Alright, good to deal some damage to him.
I don't want to roll down now because if we hit, we'd have to go below, and I just. I know myself. Another Hunter Heartless that's joined the... Uh, oh, this one, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one shouldn't be a problem for us. Although he's relying on the Terror Blade and the Terror Blade's... Ah, oh, there you go. Terror Blade's been wasted and now everything's fine. Cool. Interesting that I just have got so much clogged up board space that I genuinely can't afford to put on the fucking... Right, let's just give up on four Heartless at this stage and our three ranged pieces are going to be Dusa, Marana and... Well, it would normally be Drow, that's the problem. And we've got Cadence, and we do want to hit Dusa, and we do want to have Hunters on if we've got Cadence and Dusa and Miranas, and like, it'd be really a crying shame not to. Aha! Demon Wars, I win again. I think we have to grab this Death Prophet and then roll until we get some doubles uh, sorted out. So there we go, we've got one sorted out and we can immediately back out of all of this. And then we need to go up to 10. I do very much like having the, uh, the Death Prophet 2 star in here, that makes me happy. I know I've said it before, but I absolutely despise Meepo. That guy casting again was unfortunate. I am considering dropping Lycan at this stage in order to get DK Viper in. Uh, 
Maelstrom. Is the top guy doing any sort of summoning? Not really. Let's go with the Scythe. Whack it on the Death Prophet. This has just become a good stuff build. Like, I haven't found the Hunter Heartless stuff, so we're just having to put any old good stuff in. Doom on the three-star puck was a beaut. I know that much. And the Scythe of Vice doing some serious work as well. I like that. We're going straight to ten. I'm not dicking about. I want Mirana on again. Troll Warlords, very, very good news. Could have a Rubik 2 star out of nowhere, but let's... Uh... We don't need the Bat Rider now, so the Bat Rider should have been out for another Mirana. And this is the guy that beat us pretty handily last time, and not so much now, so that's good. I'm not going to bother with four trolls, I'm just not even considering it, so we can drop that. Fucking hell, the game really wants me to take some Rubik action, doesn't it? I could give you some bullshit reason that would make it sound like I'm smart. I'll tell you what it is. I'm terrified that if I drop my bench, I'm going to suddenly work out why I need it. That's why I'm not dropping my bench. I feel that currently it's worth the gold to have the options because I can't... This is not, like... This isn't a build. This is just me throwing shit that's quite good on in an order that makes sense to me because a build hasn't shown up this game it's just not there for me so i'm 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 therefore i'm, I'm in completely unknown waters and i'm just <laughs> floundering around trying to figure out because when deucer shows up i'm gonna want i'm gonna really want three hunters on and the question is which three hunters and if i can find um and there's Wraith King, you see. You really want Wraith King on as well because he gives you the three uh, Fallen. And that's just too good to pass up on, so I'm paying for that. And I think I'd rather have the Silver Edge on Mirana 2 than on Luna. Why is Luna still on my board? I think that's a very reasonable question at this stage.
Civilization has changed over the past couple hundred years. Bloodthorn's very good news. I mean, I really wouldn't say no to another Marana 2 star. Doodle do. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Max is ready to get paid in bold and bold. I'd love a tide hunter. I'd absolutely love a tide hunter, but he's just not shown up the entire sodding game. Right. Uh, DK and Viper go away. Pudge and Drow Ranger come in. That then goes on these for now. We'll do that. And then I'm grabbing that tide. Oh, fuck! Why is there a Luna? Oh, she should have. She could have been a fucking hunter bonus. Damn it. I mean, of course, Luna just sits there and bosses down the whole game. Fuck. She's making me not want to fire her. Right, let's see. The DK Viper thing was a good idea at the moment that I did it, but I'm not sure it's a good idea now. Right, third hunt. Ah, uh, but she's got the blood thorn and she's good with it. Yes. Oh, God, yes. Never mind. Right, that's that sorted. Goodbye, Luna. Goodbye forever. Bye now. Bye. Right. You all feck off. Uh, we just want to kill everyone, I think. Yeah. So another two-star Mirana. Is that better than whatever else we've got on the board? Two-star Doom. I'd rather have another two-star Mirana. Although Doom against this particular setup may have been better, but the Mirana stuns really are very, very good, so... Oh, yeah, look at those Mirana arrows. Hell, yes. Uh, Blink Dagger. Blink Dagger. Now then, what's our opponent got and can it beat us? He's got basically the same thing as I do, but not as good, so no. I'm going to try and three-star Marana because that's just the most entertaining thing to do at this moment. Right, we're technically on for... We're two away from a three-star Marana. And we're five away from a three-star Doom. I realise we've not even got Doom on the board at the minute. I'm just... It's exciting. And why hasn't my Medusa got the Cadence Blade on her? What the hell am I doing? God damn it, Simon. Jesus wept. Hang on. Ah, oh, I should have rolled. We could have had that three-star Marana. 56 for first place. Kiss my ass.